Hey everybody, it's Steve here, and welcome to Bubble Bobble. Um, this uh, is probably not very well suited for a one-player game. I mean, you, it, obviously, I'm doing it so you can play as one player, but um, this is a game that truly um, is meant for a two-player, because it's simultaneous, um, each person controlling one of the two dinosaurs, uh, Bub and Bob. Um, the premise of the game is pretty simple. Um, you trap the enemies in, the, in uh, bubbles that you shoot out of your mouth somehow, and uh, and from there you have to pop uh, pop the bubbles, and then uh, all the enemies turn into fruit, <laughs> which you can collect if you hurry, because you're going to get transported to the next level. That first level, um, any remaining bubbles on the screen will turn into fruit, so that's why I just shot like a whole bunch of them like all over the screen. Uh, before popping the bubbles. Um, if you group a bunch of bubbles together, like I did in the first level and like I'm about to do right here, um, you get fruit that is worth uh, more points. Um, I don't know what the, uh, what the what the what the reasoning for fruit in video games, especially these early video games. Um, I, I mean, I would assume that kind of like Pac-Man would be the first one that used fruit as kind of a you know bonus item. Um, and then, like a lot of the games I've been playing this week, you notice that um, Dig Dug, um, uh, this game obviously, uh, where fruit uh, is a bonus item. Uh, these letters that are bouncing around, um, if you should collect uh, the letters to spell the word extend, uh, you get an extra life. It's kind of a weird word to have to spell. I mean, I guess it extends your gameplay, so it makes sense, but uh, I don't know. I wish that they would let you actually collect the bonus fruit, you know, before uh, being transported to the next level, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Um, so like I said, um, when, when two people play this game, you're both on the screen at the same time. Um, makes uh, the game a little bit easier. I would think, you know, honestly, I have to say, uh, I have never played a two-player game of this. Um, you know, I mean, not to get into the whole... You know, growing up, I had no friends thing, but well, and there it is. You know, um, so I'm not sure if this is really uh, a game that I'm going to play all the way through. There are a hundred levels. Actually, there's more than that. Um, but I guess there's no point in really talking about that because I don't think I'm going to do that. I think this is going to be a one-time thing. Uh, these water bubbles, the blue ones that I'm hitting, and they're kind of like shoot me around the screen. You know, depending on how you hit them, uh, they can take out enemies. Uh, they kind of whisk you across the board. Well, now that was just stupid. Uh, I recorded a little bit of this uh, earlier, w uh, you know, a while ago. I wasn't too pleased with my performance. Um, then ultimately, I just decided, you know what? <laughs> oh, I want those. Those are worth like 6,000 points. Yeah, I got one of them at least. Okay. <laughs> Such a score whore. It's ridiculous. Um... So I don't know if this is going to be, uh, if I'm actually going to play through the entire game. Um, honestly, I don't think I've ever gotten very far in it. Uh, maybe around, um, god, level like 40 or so, maybe, probably not even halfway. Um, it's, it does get more and more difficult, and especially when you're playing by yourself. It's just, uh, there's just no denying that uh, this truly is a two-player game. But... Uh, I finally just told myself, you know what, this is all about just having fun, so just go for it. You know, I, I think that in um, previous uh, games that I've played on here, I've, I've not looked for perfection, but I, I've kind of held myself up to a certain standard of, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll play through the game, I'll record it, but I'm like, eh, I'm not too happy, I could do better. Ultimately, does it really matter, you know? Games are meant to be fun, and uh, so that's just what I'm doing here. Um, whether this will turn into a series or not, whether I'll do the entire game, I don't know. I don't, as of right now, I don't think so. Uh, but uh, but who knows? So uh, if anyone's looking for you know any kind of, <laughs> I've said this before in the past week with some of the games I've been doing. If you're looking for any kind of skill, uh, you know, look elsewhere. Um, you're not going to see too much uh, uh, to impress you here. Um, I, I guess that, oh, well, I should say that uh, there is a bit of a so-called plot to this game, and that is uh, that I believe he's like uh, called S Super Drunk or something. It, it's kind of weird. Um, has uh, kidnapped um, Bub and Bob, the dinosaur's girlfriends. Now, 
it's really, uh, and I always kind of knew it, but it's really hitting home to me, uh, since I've been doing this here, that how many of these old games really, ouch, um, where the plot revolves around somebody's, you know, girlfriend being kidnapped, it's like, it, it, it's almost all of them. It, it's kind of ridiculous. Um, you know, you always think of Mario, obviously. Um, yeah, maybe Zelda. But it just seems like um, the majority of these old NES games just all revolve around someone's, you know, girlfriend being or, or a princess being kidnapped. And I can't help but wonder why. <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, I mean, without getting, you know, having a dirty mind or whatever, but. You just think, for what purpose? You know, every time Bowser kidnaps Princess Peach, it's like... Oh, well, there you go. So I collected all the um, letters to spell extend, uh, so I just got an extra life. And here's a nice, you know, seizure-inducing uh, <laughs> bit of work to uh, to let you know that you did. That was a big thing, um, and I think it still is, um, that... Uh, flashy uh, lights and whatnot in video games would, uh, anyone who had, like, epilepsy, um, the, the, the strobe light kind of flashing light effect of some of these games could actually give people seizures. Um, I know they toned down, uh, some of the flashy lights in, like, some of the re-releases of these games, such as in, um, like I said, on the virtual console, like, especially, you notice it, like, in, uh, some of the early Mega Man games, like Mega Man 2, when, uh, you defeat a boss and, and the screen just goes, like, ape shit with, like, flashing lights, that they really tone that down. And I think it still has something to do with the whole seizure aspect. Oh, it's a heart. Anyway, this is actually quite a difficult level for being a cutesy-looking one, because you've got to use the water bubbles to, uh, to knock them, well, not myself. You have to hit them from above to knock them down into the heart. Come on. No, 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 no. There, there are time limits um, here. I mean, there's no actual, you know, physical clock. But um, if you do take too long, an additional enemy that cannot be killed will come on the screen and will hunt you down until you either complete the level or until he catches up with you and, and, and kills you. It always sounds so weird to say the word kill or, or to, to when you say that you die in a video game. I can't, sometimes I can't even bring myself to say it. You know, like I said, I've got this whole issue with that. Here we go. Yeah, see, hurry. It's telling me to hurry, and if I don't, any second now. Oh, well, good. We don't have to get to that point because I got him. But uh, there is a kind of like a skull-like creature that comes out, and, and you can't destroy him, and he'll just, you know, hunt you down, basically. Um, anyway, just to finish up what I was talking about with the whole kidnapping princesses thing. It's like, for what purpose? You know, at least in, with, with, you know, Legend of Zelda, I'm talking about the first one, of course, um, you know, Zelda actually has something of value, you know, she has a part of the Triforce that Ganon wants, so there's a kind of a reason as to why he would kidnap her, you know, there, there, she has something that, you know, an object of power that he wants. You know, Bowser kidnapping Princess Peach, it's like, for what purpose, you know? That, that you know, w with her being taken, that the entire Mushroom Kingdom is gonna, like, fall into disarray, and... <laughs> oh, no, this isn't good. That's kind of tricky, that you de you've got to use the water bubble, I know. You don't have to, but it's a good way to take all those enemies out. Mm. Yo, these guys actually shoot at you, too, so that's not cool. And the... The, the, the platforms, ah, uh, are kind of strange in this game, is that there's some that you can jump through, there's some that you can't, it, it's kind of strange. But again, this is, you know, whoa, what am I doing? I had a really good run going here, and I'm screwing it up now, I'm on my last life already. That's frustrating. But I'm going to keep this recording, because like I said, it's just about having fun, you know? I'm not going for perfection here. Uh, so anyway, so I was, I was out th uh, today, I was at Starbucks, and <laughs> this has been bugging me all day, and, I, and again, I don't know why it's so stupid. Um, I came out into the parking lot, and there were these two, like, punks, like, looking into my car, and they were, like, 
judging and, and commenting on like how dirty it was inside. Now my car is dirty inside. It's a mess. You know, I admit it fully. Um, I, I would never say otherwise. But who does that? I, I mean, it's funny now, but at the time it wasn't. But who, who actually like stops and looks into a stranger's car and, and critiques it? You know, and and then makes like a comment to me to you know telling me to clean my car. Who does? <laughs> I mean, who does that? I'm like, it, things like that, I mean, I spend too much time thinking about, but it like boggles my mind. It's like, I just can't fathom what would possess somebody to do something like that. You know, why, what does the cleanliness or lack thereof of my car have to do with you? And why do you feel the need to comment on it? A total stranger. I mean, God. It blows my mind. It just really, it killed me all day. And, I, and that's what I try to do. I, I try to figure people out. I think that's what I spend a lot of time doing. I try to figure people out and figure out why they do the things they do. Because I just don't understand it. I don't. I can't comprehend people sometimes. You know, let's walk up to a stranger's car, look inside, and critique it. Anyway, um, game over. 302,000 points. Not bad. Um, like I said, I don't know if this is going to be a regular series, but everyone take it easy. Have a good day. Peace, and I'll see you around.